we here? Are we doing it? Almost. Yeah. And the bathroom addition is true. We're back. It's cold. It's 7 degrees out there. 18 degrees in here. I need the bathroom. Not really. But I thought that's where it, it's not too warm. <laughs> that's true, Marty. Another congrats on the wedding. And, yeah, and you get still get a t-shirt. We have to get in touch. I have to send you a t-shirt. You have to, uh, uh, for the membership, you have to send me somehow uh, uh, decide what design and size and what shirt you want and, and then the address and I send it to you. You deserved it. Because he's a member in a very, uh, he's the elite member. What's up, hi Jürgen, all members here, I love that. <laughs> it's all we need. We have sound, I hope so. Um, Yes, this is Let's Talk EV every Sunday, almost every Sunday. Um, go a bit through a few news sites and we talk what's coming up. Um, and what's coming up on the channel and so on and what happened. Um, it's not a BL bathrobe. No, it's not. That's very hard to get in. But, well, let's say if here is BL, you can't see it. Would be bad. No, it's very hard to get. I really, I looked a bit and expensive. <laughs> oh my god. So, let's look over here and look through some news. And then we go, where's the cat? Cat is at my parents. No member yet, but am a fan. That's okay. <laughs> There's a, a, a low membership too, by the way. And everyone gets treated the same way. <laughs> Members are special. Um, let's go through some news. First, um, the Volvo C40 is now in production. I already asked uh, Volvo to get a press car or invited to the media drive and they said I'm on the list. So I hope that will all work. That would be nice. Next, MG already made a, a, a facelift of the of the ZS EV, I'm surprised that it is, and of course Marvel R is has landed in Europe. And uh, talk about that in a second. What's the difference in this design? Is it so different? Yeah, this is way better. Charge port looks way better like that. That was annoying. It was really annoying. So that looks cool. Um, yeah, Marvel R. Um, I asked MG for the Marvel R if they want to invite me to just make a badge and pin it on you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I get a sticker and just put it on me. Um, so I asked MG if there will be a, a, a media drive with the Marvel R. And no, there won't be. Uh, but they're handing, out, um, they're handing out the press cars already and I'm on the list. So I won't be one of the first, but I should get one at some point. So I'm looking forward to that because it looks like a, a nice car. Um, yes, now then Ionity has now a membership for uh, 18 euros a month. You can charge with 75 cent per kilowatt hours Ionity Pass. The biggest problem with this thing is that it's not monthly based. You have to have it for a whole year. And that's, sorry, that's crap. What, what if you only need it in the summer? Well, what's happening? Is my best EV you tested so far? Oh, thank you, Constantine. Nice name, by the way. I have to get it on me. Constantine, very nice name. I like that. Um, I talked about it in the last, in the last uh, Let's Talk EV already. It is a great EV. Um, but uh, after I made those videos, likes and dislikes and everything, I drove my, my ID3 home from Munich and in the morning I drove Model Y there. And then I can see the difference right away and I still like the driving in my ID3 more. But there were so many things in the Model Y that I liked a lot. So many things. The blue joke looks rank. Who's blue? And yeah, we had Ionity, so nah. 
Inside EV did have anything. Yeah, that the Model R goes on sale in Europe. Um, I did this. Yeah, that's it. Let's go to Ionity. We haven't done this in two weeks. And since then there was construction started in French, France twice. And what went live Ionity? Nothing. No, there we go. What went live? Oh my god, there we go. 10 days ago in Estonia, in Portugal, in Slovenia, twice, no, again in Portugal and in France. But let's look at the map. Here we have the Ionity map. What's happening? One in Germany here and this one here. That's it. What's happening in here? One up there in Glasgow, one here in the UK. France is still going good. There's two? There are two here. Are those two as well here? No, it's just one. That's stupid. Um, and what's going on in Portugal? Look at that. Four live, one still under construction. And still nothing here in, in, in Italy on the way down if you want to go on holidays a bit more South Italy. It's too bad, but France is, France is looking good. I like that. That's my news. I don't have a lot of news. I'm not a news channel. You get news somewhere else. <laughs> I thought so. Um, so what do we have? Um, yeah, hello peeps. Good evening. 70 kilowatt hours for the new MG5. I think Marvel R. Sorry, 70 kilowatt for, the, uh, for 70 kilowatt hours for the new MG ZSEV. Cool. That's cool. Really? Did I not? I should have seen that. That might be important. Where was I? Uh, there we go. Where is facelift? <coughs> there we go. It's true. 70 kilowatt hour battery with 11 kilowatt charging, uh, AC and 92 kilowatt DC, 132 kilowatt motor, a uh, rear wheel drive, two motors. And there's even an all wheel drive uh, with three motors with 212 kilowatt. The, the, the rear wheel drive will have a WNTP of 402 kilometers. That's a lot for 70 kilowatt. Uh, that's not a lot for 70 kilowatt hours. And the all wheel drive will only have 370. Uh, huh. Now that's the Marvel R. I'm totally in the Marvel R. That's wrong. It doesn't say anything except. I don't know, I don't see anything with the facelift of the ZSEV. Hmm. It's fine. Okay, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. where are we? Um, what to do? Spend my money to be a only team member or battery life member? Hmm. It's hard. What do we get more of? Do you, do you charge a lot on Ionity? Then be Ionity. If you watch a lot of battery life. <laughs> Or <laughs> don't do neither. No energy charges in Cornwall. That's true. How was the road noise in the Model Y compared to your ID3? Louder, but it was okay. Very diplomatic, Chris. That's me. Yep. Also curious how's the noise insulation of Y compared to ID3, ID4. ID4 was quieter than ID3, and Model Y is louder than ID3, especially but but it was no no problem. It wasn't wasn't weird. <clears throat> really. Where are you at the Tesla party in Berlin? No, I, I, I emailed uh, the press department of, of Tesla if I could be invited, but no reply. Nothing. When you look into the map, Europe is like uh, Mises and the UK is like a teenage spot. <laughs> we are so behind. Bludgeon showed potential new energy locations via EU subsidy pages for Ionity. Yeah, I've seen the, 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 the Bloodstone video this morning. Why only look at Ionity? A Lego seems to be expanding a lot be because that's a nice map. <laughs> and <coughs> there's a lot of ID3 people here or ID4. They get cheaper charging at <coughs> Ionity and me too. That's why. I could look at, at every charger all the time, but I chose this. 
I'm not the Tesla channel, they look at superchargers, I look at this. BMW need only one motor for 286 horsepower. That's true. <laughs> Hi Chris, any feedback from Volkswagen about your complaint? Are they firmly slow uh, software progress? No, nope, nothing. They So, um, I had contact with them two weeks ago almost. Um, um, I, I complained a bit that uh, our relationship is... I don't... I don't receive too much for what 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 i did i thought and then they said yeah we have to call after uh, we have to talk about this but then no one no one called <clears throat> and then they invited me for something last thursday very abrupt they invited me on monday i think or sunday i know on friday uh, so six days before they invited me to something that would happen this thursday so three days ago and I said, sorry, that's way too short notice. After uh, would have to take um, uh, uh, two days off work in Berlin, and I can't make it. And I said, but can we talk about it to know what what's happening there and whatever? But nobody called me again. No reply. Nothing is happening. And I said, okay, they're not. Um, that's how it is. Where were we? Why don't other car companies use similar plug in like Tesla, less bulky to handle? Um, because t uh, what do you mean? You mean at the supercharger? Well, CCS is the Europe standard, and Tesla has that on their uh, new Model 3s and Model S's as well. That's just how it is. And, it, and it, I think it's okay. Uh, CCS is not. That horrible, yes, the, the, the normal supercharger plug was easier and, and lighter, it's totally true. Um, but I don't think that CCS is that much of a problem, it's okay. Um, have you approached Cupra Seat about getting a born, born when they're available? Glad to see them uh, entering production finally. We'll come to that in a second. I've arrived, the show can begin. <laughs> Let's look. Tesla has dissolved press departments and so no reply is expected. <laughs> WeChat also supports a Lego. Yeah, that's true, but expensive, 60, 70 cents or something. Any word about the 125 kilowatt charging update? No. Haven't heard anything. Uh, like I said, I don't have too much contact with Volkswagen anymore. I have a new contact now of a different press department, and I already got something out of there. So um, hopefully this is a bit better. Then would be cool if you would be one of the first to test BMW i4. Can't find any reviews so far. The car looks real nice. I won't be one of the first for sure. I asked BMW if they want to invite me to their media drive for the i4 iX and they said yes we want to work with you but it's a limited number we have to see and then I didn't get uh, an invitation because the iX uh, media drive was already in the end of September so no um, I sold my ID3 first max last week because I now have a Model Y as a company car. I hope it's still okay. They're joining. Of course it's okay. You don't have to have an ID3, ID4 or Volkswagen to be here. Everyone is invited. By the way, I miss my head-up display and ride comfort, but I don't miss the software. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, that video of mine where I was complaining after a year that the software is hasn't evol evolved that much uh, is big. I think it has... Uh, 18,000 views right now. That's very good for me. I'm very happy. And this in two days. So I'm... <laughs> and this was just a video on the side that I do very fast. Um, I, I have four reviews on 13th. Yeah, it's possible. So it already happened. But I wasn't invited. Yeah, so you won't be seeing anything from me for a while. I will get a press card at some point. But I don't know, four or five months maybe. So don't expect too much. Uh, um, for me on this side. I'm just too small. I try and try and try. But let's, what happened last week, to the last few weeks, till we had um, Let's Talk EV, 20, 92 people. That's cool for nothing special happening. Oh, there's a mosquito in here. Oh, wait. Um, have you already been contacted by Kia regarding the test drive in the EV6? We'll come to that also in a later. You are a truth sayer. <laughs> I just say what I think. It doesn't mean it's the truth. It's just my opinion. Um, that's that's the 
problem. <laughs> and if I feel something that I don't like, I say it. But I always tr I try. Maybe I fail sometimes. I try to say it in a way that people still can make up their minds and say, yeah, for me, that's not a big deal, so it's okay. I hope so. So uh, the hap what happened the last two weeks? Well, I made the, the, the video with the charging loss. They were, I think that was pretty cool. Um, I got a lot of complaints that it's not very scientific and that the math is wrong and whatever. And I understand that's true. Um, and so, but that was cool. Um, you can get tablets for being too small. Okay. Uh, I don't understand what that means. Um, then I made the video with the software yesterday. Um, well, I made it two weeks ago, but uh, I uploaded it three days ago, like I said, uh, two days ago. Um, what else? Yeah, then I was sick for a week. So last Saturday I felt a bit uh, weird, you know, nose was running and didn't feel too well. And then the day later, nose was fine, but I was always extremely tired. I walked up a few few steps of stairs and I was like, uh, I have to... Uh, I have to sit down and relax a bit, and I slept a lot, and uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't wasn't too well. So I stayed home the whole week, and I needed that. I didn't feel okay till Thursday evening. On Friday morning was still a bit, but since then, Friday noon, I would say it's 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 a bit better. I think I'm okay. So that's cool. I was at the doctor and he took blood but didn't find anything particular signs of corona. <laughs> no, it's all cool. Um, my, my wife Cindy had her first vaccination. I have mine somewhere in October, middle, end of October or something uh, at, at the doctor here. Yeah, um, what else? That was the thing that happened. Um, what's coming up? Um, coming up this week on Friday. Uh, oh, so did you give your lawnmower a name yet, or, or has it has it run away? Oh, well, there's a hair in my nose. Um, I haven't given it a name yet. No, and it's, it's it. I turned it off because it, it was it, it. Now it's because it's so cold. It only goes up to to twelve, thirteen degrees, even though when it's sunny and it's three degrees in the morning. So the grass and and all the ground is very wet, and when it even even at uh, 11 a.m. when it's when it's mowing the lawn because of the turning if the if the grass is not very thick it destroys the ground because it's still wet because of the turning and then the wheels are all dirty and so I turned it off I, I put it in so it's not mowing right now and the grass is not growing that much anyways but still works uh, um, and it's doing a great job uh, I like it a lot we have 27 likes with 99 people. Let's go. Everybody like. All the 99 people that are out here, even if you watch it on your television, go to your tablet and like, 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 like. We can get this up. We're 27 people likes. We can get this up to 50 in 20 seconds. Come on. <laughs> um, so, ba -ba -ba -ba. Happy Sunday. Does the break groan squeak get any better on E3 with Tim? Who's Tim? Time. Uh, well, the the groan squeak. Uh, this the groan is when it's standing there and you never break. That's drum breaks if you don't use them. So if you only use uh, uh, the 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 region, then you have that. And if you don't drive at all, then it's really bad. Time is your IDC pure test car with hundred and ten plus kilowatt charging. Um, so uh, what's happening this week on Friday, I will be getting a Presscar ID3 Pure with the 45 kilowatt hour battery. What does it have? 107 kilowatt motor, I think. And uh, ID3 Pure cannot charge more than 100 kilowatt as far as I know, unless they, they changed it somehow. But that's as far as I know, only the, the middle battery, the 58 kilowatt hour battery can now charge with 120 or more kilowatt hours. So I'll be getting this for two weeks, do all my tests. The week after I have a special event that I'm going to um, and I'm, have, I'm looking looking for that. That will be uh, fun. I should change the, the, the color of this stuff here, huh? of the text. It looks better. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, uh, like I said, he's, and, and I have to remind everyone, well, you did the like. Thank you very much. Become a member up here. No, where do I go? 
this here. It's in the, in the description or you just go to the channel and become a member and you get early access and of course background information and when what's happening. If I get invited to something I tell my patrons and the members first and if I have results of a test, uh, range test or whatever I tell everyone as soon as I can. Um, so that's happening. Um, also here, no, down, wrong, down here I have merch. That's all cool. Um, um, and there's also a link in the description and soon it will be under every video. There's a, there's a, uh, uh, I have a few shirts. I don't have it on of course now with the battery life logo or the text and uh, with the text and the logo. And, and uh, I made them on, on a, a spreadsheet um, and ha now have four t-shirts and two sweaters. Is that true? And, th and another th uh, thin sweater. And I, just, I did them because I wanted to have something. And then I thought I should have merch, but then I have to make t-shirts and if people will buy them and what sizes do I get. And then I, I saw on YouTube that you can do merchandise. And then this uh, connects to your Spreadshirt account, to the spread shop, And then you're not making any t-shirts at all. So people are ordering, so you, would be ordering a t-shirt from them, they make it on demand. It's not being built before. And I think it's really cool. It's a good idea. So I don't have to buy 200 shirts and, and, and nobody buys them. <laughs> so I don't have a risk. And if you want one, you can order one. If not, no. So, and, and they have pretty good quality. So the premium t-shirt and premium hoodie. The hoodie is amazing. I love that hoodie. I have two now. One in... Uh, Almost black and one in, in jeans blue or whatever what the color was. Looks cool. I like it. Um, yeah, what else? Um, let's go through the, the comments and then we talk about Seat Elborn, uh, Dacia Spring and Kia EV6. Because that's interesting. Considering to buy ID3 Pro, do you suggest to wait a bit, expecting date for deliver in order in February? Do you expect any software upgrade in this year? Um, Get one, first of all, drive one, if this is the thing that you need to drive. For me, ID3 is still the best car for my need. Um, I would like to be different, it to be different. I want more power and better software. And with better software, I don't mean that, my, I don't have any problems with the software in my car. That's not the thing. What I mean that it didn't evolve, there were new features in the app and in the, in the software. It's, it works for me very well. Um, where was I? I'm too, too but um, you have to decide if the ID3 is the car for you. It was for me and then get it. There will be software updates. It will get better. I don't know how much better if the hardware in the car is equipped for that. Um, what I'm waiting for and I think all ID3, ID4 drivers are waiting for is the the next over-the-air update that should bring uh, uh, the a heat pump update, so the heat pump would work better, uh, and uh, battery heating in the winter. I mean, in December we will get cold uh, batteries, or even even November. So it's come on, come on, we're waiting for that. What is your thoughts on why the software is lacking on the ID3? Is that they are not prioritizing it or they don't have the team in place to deal with it? I think they were they're just behind because they had structure problems. Who's doing the software and how? It didn't work that well. And then when they released the car, it had a lot of problems and they had to work on that, not on development of new features. They concentrated on that the car is working. And I think they did that with 2.0 in January of this year. And then 2.1, which should have been the software where the car started with, uh, was in March. So it was already six months late. And then they had their first over-the-air update again, where they thought, let's just put in more, not too much, see that it works. So this was in June and this had was, a lot of cars had problems because of the structure of how the software was written, how the update process is and everything. And that's why they're still going on with 2.3. And uh, I don't think that the next update, so what I said for the, for the heat pump or the, the 
the preheating of the battery that we all need so the consumption is not that high in winter on, on short trips or it, the battery will be preheated with charging or with preheating the car. Um, I think this will not come this year. I think the next update, it is middle of October and I haven't heard anything about the next software update and so I doubt it will be this year. I think they will announce it uh, in the middle of November, end of November and then the first people will get it maybe in December or maybe next year. That's, that's what I'm expecting. Uh, and the, the problem is for sure just the hierarchy and decisions and stuff like this. Ooh, another uh, uh, support. Thank you very much, Nate. Thanks, mate, for all the information and, and your commitment to all the thorough tests. And thanks for helping me with the choice. My new ID3 arrives in February 2022. Thank you for watching. Glad I could help. That's nice. Um, where were we? Maybe you need to get a coat to cut the grass. A goat to cut the grass. <laughs> Start liking folks. Yeah, we had 65 likes. That's cool. We cannot like the cats not here. Still waiting on the 2.3 update on my ID4 Pure. Yeah, that could take a while. Yeah, I asked Volkswagen for an ID4 Pure and ID4 GTX press car. Um, they, but the, the person who does that was on holidays. She, she's coming in tomorrow. We'll see. Um, man, Bernilan has changed. Do you mean uh, that I'm Bjorn Nieland? Yes, I have changed. <laughs> um, I might buy a Cooper Braun. I know it's basically an ID3, but what do you think of the touch controls on the steering wheel? I don't even know. Does the, does the Born have completely different... Uh, well, I'm looking uh, weird here. Um, a different uh, buttons on the steering wheel? I'm okay. A lot of people hate the touch control on the ID3, ID4. I'm okay with it. It's not better. Uh, except for sliding. Sometimes it's a bit nicer, but uh, I don't think it's worse either. Hello folks, finally I received email asking my permission for update. Hopefully we get it before 2022. <laughs> Me too. Hopefully. Hoping to get to 2.3 on Tuesday. How do you know it's Tuesday? If it's over the air update, do you know when your car is looking for the update? Huh. I just had my fourth puncture in less than two years on my Eagle. Really? Not impressed with stock tire Volkswagen have used. What tires do you get on the ID3? I have, I think, Continental and never had a problem. That's weird. It's really weird. Thanks for your videos in ID3. Just ordered the family spec in white. Arrives February 2022. Keep up the great content. Does every... I oh, you, you, you just said it there. Um, I would have read it, but thank you. We need bathrobe merch. I look, I said it. I looked into bathrobe. Uh, it's not that easy. And uh, they don't want to print in the front. They want to print in the back. And then I have, you know, have to do this the whole time. <laughs> there are no dressing gowns on the side. What is a dressing gown? Hey Chris, you're the only YouTuber who's straightforward with their own car. Thanks for being honest. You did, however, make me buy an ID3 in the same color. White rules! Did you get the white interior too? Because white interior is the best thing. It looks amazing. I hate... I, I tried to configure an ID3 with the sports seats. And when you have the sports seats, you cannot get white interior. That sucks. You're doing... You, you are doing print on demand so you can have anything there is lots of other things you could add. I, I looked at it but I could add like 200 different things and I didn't want to overwhelm people as well. I think this, this is a good, uh, uh, a good middle ground right there. I don't want people to go there and not know. I think good t-shirt, so premium t-shirt, normal t-shirt, premium hoodie and I have them. I know that they're good. And, and a sticker and whatever and one women thing so it it's all I don't didn't want to do too much um, no he has glasses and a ponytail now <laughs> buy Seat Elborn looks better than i3 I think so too I want to see an id3 with not a black roof all white or all one color I haven't seen that yet I would and, and Seat Elborn is doing that and it's Cooper born by the way um, look at me, know it all. EVs are 600 euro cheaper in Norway. Then let's go there. Sorry to ask, did you get your software update after signing the TNC's email? Don't know what version it will be. What's TNC? 
Um, so I was in a special Facebook group. I got invited. There's 15 people in there that should get the, the 2.3 over the air update uh, first. And we all had to sign a little thing that, that first of all, um, yes, uh, you signed that because of the first over the air update, the uh, assist systems will fail. So you're okay with that. And then uh, you, uh, that we were not talking outside or posting something outside what was in the group. And yeah, that, that we were in there. But then I didn't get it till three weeks after. But it was still in. When did I get my update? In June? I think so. June, so three months ago. Uh, bu -bu -bu uh, plug in charge is also confirmed for ID cost. That's true. But when will it come in the car? I don't know. Hey, thanks for your answers. Let's speak about the update. Actually, got the email two days later. That's cool. We need better mapping, lots of errors in speed limit, which makes adaptive cruise control dangerous. Well, you can turn off adaptive cruise control with the uh, speed. Uh, uh, preview. I have that turned off right away and you will never get perfect mapping. There would, there's always gonna, and, and Volkswagen is not doing the mapping. Someone else is doing the mapping, mo mostly Google Maps or something, and the data can be wrong and I wouldn't count on it. I wouldn't. <laughs> Next software update, still waiting for 2.3. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm still waiting for 2.3. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I know. Evening. Hey, Darren. Fellow pleb 2.3 will come in October. I got an email from Volkswagen say it in the coming weeks. That's cool. Yes, all my updates so far have come on Tuesday mornings. What updates? When did you, when 2.3 is your first over the air updates, how did you get another update so far? Another question, does the 125-130 kilowatt charging limit upgrade on 3 come with 2.3 or later update? doesn't come with 2.3. Right now, only new build ID3s from July on have 120 to 130 kilowatt charging. Um, I have not gotten an answer if older cars will get a software update, a hardware update, or have to go to the dealer for... A special update. I don't know. How's the new motor going? Uh, ah, so the, the, yeah, he's asking Darren. Goodyear and Bridgestone for ID3 as well. Different, uh, maybe I have Goodyear. Market different tires. What? God, I really have to look now. What tires I have on my ID3. This is how old I am. I'm just driving for with them almost a year. Pigs. There we go. And I, I know I took Continental. I was right. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Woo, look at me. I knew stuff. Um, I'm a fellow peasant. Six month waiting list in the UK for an ID3 delivery. I thought in the UK it was in the beginning that a lot of first editions were sold off because nobody wanted them. How is this now a six month waiting list? I got the white interior too. Yes. That's the stuff. Hi, Marty, going great things. Already 4,000 miles in four weeks. Cool. My neighbor test drove my Polestar 2 and loved it. He bought a brand new long range single motor instead of mine. Who is for sale? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm in contact. I was in contact with Polestar about I'm on a waiting list to get a press car. I'm on that list for a year. <clears throat> so, long time. I have, I have received some minor updates on Thursday, so I expect to receive the 2.3 on some Thursday. Also, maybe the next one will with any luck. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I know, for example, we charge the, the app. The car looks every day for the update for, for an in-car app, but for a firmware update, so a, a big system update only once a week. So mm, we'll see. Jeez, you're sleeping on it too. Uh, been to Spain, Marty. That's true. I configured a Merc EQS today. Came to 180,000 euros with all the options. Hoping to win a lottery next week. Do you want the car? I think the car is great and I would love to drive it. I don't need all that luxury stuff and I think it doesn't look that good. I don't know. If you win, I have some money. <laughs> good luck, Gordon F. I have some small updates too for navigation, digital and manual and WeCharge app. 
Yeah, I don't know if this is has to do with is this the same thing. Um, here in Ireland, it has done two over-the-air updates on mine already, and last week I had to sign the email you spoke about. Both took approximately three to four minutes. Yeah, that's not an over-the-air update. It is, it is an update over the air. That's true, but it's a, it's an app update. It's map. It's the some module was updated at some point, and then the we charge um, app. It's not a systems update. Germans get continental. Yes. If the same ice cars keeps parking in an EV charge place, can we blow it up? Uh, <laughs> it's had three parking tickets so far. Yeah, that's really mean. I know. My UK car is Continentals. Cool. I got Pirelli on mine. The Sport Plus, or what's the name? Sport something, something with M. I don't know. That all the sports cars and, and uh, Model S have. I'm seeing brand new first editions lately on the road here. Maybe they left over from UK and they shipped them here. No idea. Okay, 127 people. It's cool. We're always getting above 100 people on a Sunday evening. I like that. Only 76 likes though. Like, like, like. <laughs> um, yeah, um, what I wanted to say. Um, if someone is new here, subscribe, of course. What's coming up soon? I'm working right now on a video of the real consumption on EVs. As you all know, the car is showing an average consumption. But the question is, first of all, is this consumption reality? Maybe the car maker is a bit lying. Sometimes the, the trip meter is under or over reporting. So you drive 60 kilometers, but uh, the car says, uh, but in re, uh, in, in the car says 58 or 62. So then the average consumption is different. And also, this is not what you pay. What you pay is what you charge. And so I, <clears throat> when I did my Rakobi tests with 15 cars so far, um, I drove an exact route from start to finish around. Um, different ones though, but always started and ended at the same route. I always started with 50%, ended up at the same spot and charged back to 50%. And so I know exactly on those 60 kilometers how many kilowatt hours had to be charged back all except for Nissan Leaf were on Ionity. And so I know if you use the car on a long distance drive, this is your average consumption at 90, 110, 130 kilometers an hour. And it's completely different than what the car says. In some cars, it's extremely close. Some cars, it's 20% different, higher. And this video, I only did the data yesterday. I will do the video in the next few days, um, tomorrow or... Hey, thank you very much, Werner. Five Swiss crowns. It's so cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's cute thing. Um, okay, uh, so this is coming up this week. And I want to do a video. Um, you saw the video that I did of my uh, lawnmower robot. And I have a vacuum robot as well. And this is extremely intelligent with laser scanning 3D image of the, of the room. And you can see it in the app where it is and where it has vacuumed and where, what, if it's uh, mopping the floor or just vacuuming, can adjust the, the power of the vacuum and everything. And it's really cool. So I want to do that because that's just cool. Um, Pirelli Scorpio. No, I meant the motorsport or sport motor something one or whatever what the name was. Uh, how is life treating you? <laughs> life is treating me well, thank you. Um, so this, I want to make a video about that. And then ID3 Pure will come, so we'll make a lot of video about this. And I'm also um, just right now planning, I don't know if I do it, but working and planning in my head to, uh, if in the future I will do live streams in the car to have more cameras at the same time. But I have to look into it. Who's spamming here? And he's gone. No spamming. Is he gone? There we go. Already gone. And that's fast, huh? He did five things and he was gone. Um, uh, what do I want to say? 
And so I'm, I'm thinking about that because it involves a laptop. It involves somehow getting two sources of camera in there. And what I want is a camera here to point so you can see uh, the car inside and a camera on the on the on the drive in there i don't think a camera on me nobody sees to to see me will you test marvel r or you talked in the beginning about it i talked to mg about it they're not doing a media drive they will give out press cars i'm on the list but i'm not one of the first of course i'm just too small so i'm i'm i'm, I'm looking into what i can do to have laptop connecting to the internet and still somehow a screen in front of me where i can see but i can do that with the phone i can have the live stream on the phone and see uh, uh, if somebody is saying something uh, bjorn is getting a laser dyson vacuum cleaner <laughs> it's cool um yes and now email uh, yeah i read the email again then we talk about cooper born and kia ev6 and dacia spring um where was i Oh my god money german rentals i got pearly of mine Rolls royce released their full electric uh, end of 2023 i've seen that i got the email and clicked to accept the update no, now waiting if i don't use the car on the, on the day i should check for the update will i miss and have to wait one more week i don't drive every day no you don't so the car so let's say the car uh, the, the the module was activated on tuesday at 10 a.m if you don't drive till let's say Thursday, so two days later, it's still fine. The, the th important thing is that uh, there are a few steps that, that are on the on the first movers group now called differently that I couldn't re can't recall right now. Um, and I made a video about it also. Hello from Russia. Hello from Germany. Um, I made a video about it, uh, the tips and tricks, what you have to do. And the most important thing is when you start the car after it knows it has to look for an update, a good internet connection has to be established. And, and uh, so the car, ha if, if you are in a parking garage or if you are on a spot where you don't have great 4G connection or it's in, in my video, the tips and tricks of the 2.3 over the air update. If your module is not working perfectly, um, you, uh, you, you can go into the car, but you have to wait 60 seconds to start the ignition with pressing the brake pedal. Um, if, if those three things are not working perfectly and you start the car, the, uh, the car will look for the internet cannot find an update because the internet connection is not working or that module and then it thinks there's no update i will wait another week this is the important thing so it's not that it has to be on the day driven it's after that when you start the car it has to establish a good internet connection that's the most important part this channel is exploding <laughs> Hi Chris, how is life treating you? Great, Chris, ID owners got an update for over-the-air module that you didn't get. It improves the over-the-air uh, process. That's what they are talking about. Huh, cool, I didn't get that. <laughs> because I already have 2.3, I guess. We are all bored, so came here to fall asleep. <laughs> but somehow, someone keeps talking. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. How do I compare 80% at 80 percent now i'm getting 280 kilometers mid 12 to 15 degree weather with cold nights it, it this has nothing to do with that uh, i made a video about about that as well the range that it shows you has all to do with how you drive and how your area is if you have to go a lot uh, if you drive fast if you do a lot of uphill driving your range display will show totally different numbers but yes when you have the heat on for example then your range goes down it all depends on the temperature if it's at 18 degrees it's different than at 24 and if you have ac with that on as well and then when it gets colder soon we will have cold temperature if the battery is under seven degrees battery heater comes on with six kilowatt and will heat up the battery to 13 kilowatt and this also will uh, put down your range a lot. I will, be, I will be passing right by you in second week of July for Rokobi. Don't forget. 
what last next year in July? My God, <laughs> robot wife is arriving in two weeks. Cool. Um, well, well, we did that. Did you check what is the consumption of Model Y at higher speed, like 150? Yeah, I, I, I couldn't drive a constant speed at 150, but I drove 200 and then slowed down, accelerated again, and a lot of full acceleration on the first day when I had the Model Y, and the consumption was still under 200. It was amazing. Yeah, even at high speeds, Model Y consumption is phenomenal. You could get a special tiny keyboard that is programmable to switch between camera angles for the live stream. Yeah, but first I have to get, uh, like I said, I have, uh, um, uh, this is also no problem. If I have a laptop, I can switch. You can have in OBS, um, you can have shortcuts that switches between the things. There's no problem. Or have both at the same time. I mean, I do that here. Here you have my right screen. Here you have me. Um, this is the middle screen with everything and and all of this I can click around, it's no problem and you can have a shortcut for that. That's not the problem. The problem is that the laptop has to have good internet connection. I have to see the chat if you're saying something and if the laptop is here on the side, I cannot do it like this in the car. I have to have it in front somehow. So this is a thing and I have to get two uh, sources in there and it's also not not that that easy because if I do a test I also want to film and I have one camera here one camera here so if I feel if I use this for live streaming I have this to film but if I want two angles I need another one and right now I just use my phone with that's do, doing everything it's very easy it just needs to be charged that's it and with a with a, a, a laptop it's just a bit more work and will it really work because I have this problem this is connected with USB micro mini whatever and the one that you have here is USB-C and this works really well but this one always has problems so it's always yeah, will it really work and I would love more an HDMI recorder where you put two sources in and it goes into the, the, the laptop but this all costs money I mean the laptop a few hundred euros then I need cameras, different ones, not just, I don't know, maybe a webcam or whatever, two of them. I don't know, something like this. And this is, uh, I, like I said, I'm planning and looking into it, not doing it right now. Found a video on YouTube, just tip with two fingers on warm cold on the uh, climate control of your side for the seat heaters. You didn't know that? I know that for a while. Uh, I, I, um, uh, Inigo told me that uh, a year ago. That's that works, but it doesn't work perfectly. Sometimes it doesn't do that. Uh, what ha and and I showed it in 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 a few ID three videos. What happened to the live stream with Chris Reva? I was sick last week, so I had to cancel that. It will happen next Thursday, so this in four days. But at nine p.m. he has uh, he cannot do it earlier. We'll do a live stream. I will do an interview with Chris Reva, and I will have him here with the live stream me up up here him down here and then uh, he will film himself and audio recording uh, at home I will do the same and then afterwards I will cut it together and make a better video out of it but live stream so people can ask questions as well so it's not just me that's what I wanted any plans to talk to Carriette people I have no idea who that is. It would be great to get some more detailed info uh, about the migration plans interview. Who's Carriot? <laughs> I think you said that another thing, but I forgot. It feels like we're at the start of smart connected cars. What do you think is the most exciting future prospect of internet connected cars? I think the update process. If it's working nicely, you just drive and then boop, you have an update and then you park the car, update the next day, can do something better. But there's also a downside to it because I think, what if I like something about the car and then they decide to change it and then I click the update and then it's not what I wanted before? Then it's a bit, I don't know. I remind you every week and you still forget. I will. <laughs> you have to remind me in June 
when Europe go over an electric car completely, oh, the same as, as everywhere, it will take a long time. Long time. Did you know that you can watch movies in MP4 format and ID3 from USB? Very nice feature when charging. Yes, you can. I knew. You can even do it from your phone. If you have uh, on your phone, if you have connected with USB-C and you have videos on there, you, you can go to the folder and watch videos. It's no problem. And now with the 2.3 update, there's, you don't have to slide from the right to the left to see the video. Um, it, it just works um uh, it, it pops up a new window and uh with not android auto what's the other one you can have uh, yeah, yeah with android auto you can have car tube and watch youtube videos on android auto as well um what type of id3 do you have pure pro pro s pro it's a first edition uh, pro performance 58 kilowatt hour battery rear wheel drive 150 kilowatt charges with 100 kilowatt it's a year old so you must be new toast. Great name. Toast. <laughs> and so many meanings. You should go uh, get a Surface Pro much easier to handle than a full laptop. But can you connect uh, a USB device, for example, or more USB devices if you need it? That's the, the thing. Scottish ID3 driver. Good evening. <laughs> Great name. I carry it Volkswagen Software Group. Oh. Yeah. No, uh, like I said, uh, Volkswagen is pretty quiet, quiet with me these days, since, I don't know, since the, well, long time, <laughs> since this year, since nothing, uh, since the ID3 is not the focus anymore, since ID4 and everything. Good evening from Vienna, hi, hi Julia, you're the one with the Model 3, am I right? I'm very bad, I'm sorry, I apologize. A hoodie is now ordered. Cool. Yeah, the hoodie is really amazing. I should get it. Yeah, I get it. Wait a second. It's, it's drying. I washed it. I have the black one uh, on for outside. Ooh. Dark down here. I need light. Oh my, I'm dying. Everything's dark. Everyone in bed. Where's my new blue one? It's really nice. The t-shirts are, are already downstairs. Oh, the hoodie is still wet, but it's okay. The hoodie is really awesome. I only have the one without the text. This is the one. Uh, this is the one uh, with just the logo. And it's really awesome. It's nice and thick, nice and warm. The hood is a perfect size. In the, in the black one, uh, those are white. This doesn't look too great, but it's, it's cool. It's really nice and thick. For the summer, it's way too warm. But other than that, it's really cool. I love it a lot. And the new premium t-shirts are cool. I had two t-shirts before. Uh, the um, 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 one with the transition and uh, what was the other name? vintage look and um, it's they were not great because they have a very f wide neck and I don't like it because I have this microphone and the microphone has weight and then the microphone is down here and exposing uh, chest hair and I don't need to see that or you don't need to see that but the hoodie is cool I love that a lot and the new premium shirts because um, this is the premium hoodie, the premium shirts are also cool, but I want to order the normal shirts to see if this is a lot of difference. And the size was good too, this is XL, because I'm a big fatty. And it fits for the t-shirt and the... Uh, the hoodie. <sighs> now I'm old. Where's the other one? I have a short, the thin one too, that's here. That's the thin one. I don't think I have this on order. That's a very thin one. Uh, uh, that's good for the summer, long, long sleeve. Very thin sweater. It's okay. I wouldn't buy that again, I have to say. Uh, where were we? 
going to hear. Elon says it may take 30 years to switch all uh, vehicles to electric. That makes sense. Maybe even longer. <laughs> Model 3 and Model Y and why? Uh, Model Y because Model 3 is way too harsh ride for me. Way too low. When you get in, you're on the floor. I love the seating position of the Model Y way more. That's it. <laughs> Had my first 600 kilometer Norway Sweden trip yesterday. The Swedish guy next to me came with an ID4 with 80%. There are chargers all over the place. <laughs> what are your views on carbon capture technology? Since I don't know too much about it, I know that it exists. I don't know how it works. If this is good or bad. Or if it does a lot or if it takes too much energy. I have no idea. What car do you have? ID3. Uh, first edition plus AMG is coming soon in Norway. What do you think about it? Marvel R. I already talked about it. I think I had the MG ZSEV. I tested it for two weeks and it wasn't that bad, but it felt cheap. But it drove okay. The Marvel R looks a bit more sporty, a bit more powerful. Uh, will be interesting. You can connect as many as you want with USB C port extender. <laughs> really? Uh, well, well, we'll see. I, I think it, it's too expensive for what it does. So just to have and too much hassle. So right now I think about it and will plan. But it, it seems like just a phone and that I already have and do a live stream. And, and normally nobody complains that, oh my God, this looks weird. And then to have a laptop, two cameras and this, it will cost me, I'm sure, Five two thousand euros, five hundred two thousand euros. I don't know if it's worth it. Does anybody want to talk Tesla? I'm here to f for all of your questions. <laughs> so do you, we should ask you questions about Tesla. Two more likes and we can go. That's true. Mal, Gog, I don't know what that means. No, I haven't happened to have a 2017 Model S 75T. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, who's writing in a weird language that I don't understand? If you do that more, I have to let you go. Okay, it's too much. I'm sorry. Block for a bit. Just English here, please. Yeah, and you do a lot. Um, but, 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 but now he has left. Let's all run away. <laughs> and I imagine Carrot is also... Focusing on PPE platform since Q6, Etron and Porsche Macan and releasing soon. After original shirt. Yeah, you made your own, so you're a, a counterfeiter. But Model 3 was very close. <laughs> Do you think Volkswagen will offer upgrade just as travel assist for the ones that did not order the package from the factory? Uh, it, there will be in-car app and software purchases, but not travel assist because I ask and travel assist if you, there's also hardware needed. It's not, not just software. Hello Chris, I'm based in UK. I've tried the free Wi-Fi in my ID3, but it doesn't work. Your free Wi-Fi? How do you have free Wi-Fi in the ID3? You have an internet connection in the ID3, so an eSIM that connects to the internet and it will download updates for the map and your uh, system for free. But if you want to use that, that uh, internet connection to surf with your phone or to listen to music on the car, you need a plan. It's not for free. You need a plan with... I forgot what the name of the company was. Uh, I looked at it. It's way too expensive. It's easier to connect your car to your phone with your normal internet. Way better. Hello, uh, we did that. Will you test the ID5 when it comes out? Because I have a feeling that the material quality is going to be better than the ID3 and 4. Also big fan. Thank you. Um, is it really going to be better? Uh, I hope to get, get the ID4 to drive or to see a bit early, but I don't know. I will order one, on one hoodie. Yeah, the hoodie is really cool. Nice bedrobe. Thank you very much. Look at me. It's not battery life, too. <laughs> uh, to do, get hoodie plus mug done. <laughs> yeah, the mug is also cool, the black one. Isn't the black mug cool? White interior, no way. You're so wrong. White interior rules. Turkish, get your pirate uh, <laughs> battery life merge here. That's true. Darren is providing half the price. He 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 uh, paints it himself. Himself. MG said this is getting a larger battery as standard and and better software. I saw the thing, but I don't see. 
that it gets better battery, but I believe you. I so believe you. Um, you need to sue Life of Batteries for stealing your shirt design. <laughs> I hope the MEB platform will be as hardware upgradable as the Teslas. Mm -hmm. um, EG, MCU and Autopilot upgrade. Well, this is more software. Is it hardware? Oh, you mean the cameras and everything. Um, development of MEB is dead. Trinity is the new savior. Well, we'll see, but it will be till 2026. I mean, that's four years. That's a bit long. I heard rumors that all Pro ID3 cars made from Summer 21 had the travel assist hardware. It's possible, but not. So when I got my ID3 first, I asked right away, can I have travel assist? And they said, no, we need special hardware for that. So my car doesn't have that. I don't know the cars afterwards when they were built, if it's any different. How is the travel assist on ID3? ID3? Because on the Golf, it looks to be better than the ID3, but I'm not sure. I used self-driving on most cars that I ever got and I have to say most of them do it very well. I have no problem with it. Um, I, I drove Model 3 and Model Y with the, not the full self-driving or the advanced autopilot and also feels the same. Um, I don't see any improvement to it, but again, I didn't have the full. I'm sure that's way different. And I'm not the biggest fan of self-driving because I still have to hold. And I hate, like in Tesla, when it needs a jerk. So when it needs a movement or a resistance. I love it when it's just a press. I know why it's there. So people don't just put an orange in there. But it's just annoying when you do a long distance drive and you have to put force on the steering wheel. Otherwise it beeps at you. Hey, you're not holding the steering wheel. So I rather drive without self-steering because I need less force in my ID3 to steer than on other cars to just show them that I'm driving. But the good thing for me with self-driving is if I film in the car for videos, I can leave the steering wheel just for a few seconds and, and uh, fiddle around. That's nice. I have to say, that's really nice. Uh, Post-sale hardware retrofit is, is, is impossible for legacy. The vendors that made the Volkswagen hardware have moved on. <laughs> By the way, what do you think is the best car? Well, you know that. I wouldn't drive it. Oh, UK Techies here. See, I didn't ban him. What's the insurance cost for a for your, for year for ID3? I pay 43 euros a month. Or 45. I think so. Um... I haven't seen you in a while, UK Tiki. How are you? Um, well, for me, for my use case, I always say that with every um, bought now hoodie and t-shirt. Cool. The normal t-shirt or, or the premium t-shirt? I would, would want to know what the normal t-shirt is like. I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. And it's so cool with this spreadshirt that I don't, again, that you order whatever you want in what size and that's it. It's so cool. I like it a lot. And it's worldwide. I have two sweet Swedish people ordered one, and that's so cool. Uh, but, but, but what do I want to say? Uh, what do you think is the best car? F uh, I say it with, uh, with every video when I test the car. This is maybe not my car that I like, but I, I, I can show you what is good for the car for other people. Um, oh, by reminder, as always, become a member. <laughs> I already said that, eh? Yeah. Um, and because I see all the members here in green, that's why. Uh, where's Jill? Well, he he doesn't like me anymore. He went away. Uh, have you heard that Volkswagen is making ID3? Or no, they're making the ID3 GTX. That's the all-wheel drive with 329 horsepower or something. Very interesting, I have to say. I want that. Has Jill changed his name? You would still see. He will never change his logo. He's too lazy to do that. Um, 22 and a half euros for the for the premium shirt. That's the premium one. Yeah, I know it's expensive. I know. But again, they're making it... Hi, Chris and Chet. <laughs> they're really making uh, the t-shirt for you. They don't have a hundred on the side. They're making one for you. All the money from sales Chris is going to see Björn's wife again. <laughs> it's so mean. Um, no, but for me, for my use case, ID3 is the best car. I'm sorry. If I would do very long distance trips every week, I will have a different car. 
um, if I need more space to have a different car. But for me, how I use a car, and I love how the ID3 drives. I love, I would like a bit more power, like I said, but it's enough and it's just so comfortable and I love the steering. For me, um, ID3, ID4, and, and uh, when it comes to suspension, ID3, ID4 are very similar. ID4 is a bit quieter, but steering wise, ID3 was the best. Uh, um, and I think if it would uh, would use 18 inch wheels, I have 19 inch on there right now, even winter tires are 19 inch, I think it will, it will be even uh, uh, better steering. It's very light, but very precise and very stable. And I haven't seen any other EV doing that. The, the Mercedes EQA was extremely close, but the suspension was too soft. It was jumping around a bit. That's not nice. Where were we? Uh, UK Techie has been released. The IDC travel assist has a co capacitive steering wheel. No need to put force on the steering wheel. Yeah, I'm saying not every, you're saying all the EVs I've driven. Some have that, some have, uh, you need force. I love the one with uh, where you just have to touch it. Are there other HPCs in Germany besides the only T? Yes, there's EMBW and they're open not far away. I think 100 kilometers from here, a whole park with 10 uh, 350 kilowatt chargers and one Jetamo and one Type 2, I think. And with a roof, it looks great. And they're opening more and more. Then there's Allego and then there's other uh, companies, uh, so power companies in their city that are, there's a lot. They're coming more and more. But when it comes to on the highway, it's a bit different. Why are you complaining? You have my finger. Oh, new three, three new orders. Thank you all. What do we have? We have from Sweden a hoodie. We have all Sweden. We have from Italy a uh, hoodie also and uh, a mug. And from Norway, we have a hoodie and a t shirt. So cool. Thank you guys. And I think it's really, it's, it, it's good stuff. I was afraid that it's crap and, and, but it's really, the hoodie is, uh, is awesome. It's the best hoodie I ever had. And it's, it sounds like advertising, but I mean it. It's really in the winter, in the summer, it would be way too thick and way too hot. Oh no. Um, and the prices for those, it depends. Um, uh, if you have EMBW, it's 52 cent per kilowatt hour. Allego is, I think is, it's not going too much cheaper. Tesla is building cars following agile manufacturing process. The retrofit ability is made possible by this. It's called non-breaking changes. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hi, David. Wow, German insurance is more expensive than Ireland. I thought Ireland was the worst in the world. Well, it all depends. Insurance, how many kilometers you drive a year and how old you are. So if I would be 60, I will pay way less. And if I would only drive 10,000 kilometers a year. And it was a new car. So also a lot. I pay around 250 euros per year for full open driving insurance on ID4. That's cool. Again, how are you also 44 and drive 22,000 kilometers a year? And maybe Germany is expensive. I don't know. By the way, we're chill. We did that. Have you heard the folks who is making ice cream? We did that. Got Mini and now Fiat 500. Yeah, Fiat 500e is is an interesting car. Very harsh ride. Horrible steering. Has Chill changed his name again? Hi, Chris and Jet. All the money from sales is going to Spear and Wife again. Hello, original ID3 guys. Who is Björn? You mean from Norway? <laughs> yes, he means Björn Nieland. We're always joking about him in a nice way. Um, yes, premium. Check ID3 online configurator got updated last week with 5% price increase. What? But also mentions memory function for sports seats at least maybe in the next software update. No, for, for I think that's a button. The new, the new ID3s have a 360 degree camera. Um, the middle battery has faster charging, 120 kilowatt, and has memory functions. They all have that now, not when I got the car. <coughs> Your shop is showing below the stream now. Woohoo! It works! But, oh, but not everything. I have to look. Because um, it says that it, they need to, to, to check if that works. And I, don't, and I made a change today. They're not, they're not showing everything. If I go into Merge... 21 
uh, are being tested, it says. So, oh, YouTube always wants to... <sighs> See if it's really me. Yeah. Einige Artikel, die angezeigt werden, sind nicht mehr verfügbar. Okay, let's look at the store. Does it work? Yes, it works. That's cool. That's nice shop. It will it will change. Now it's only four. It only shows four things. It's gonna be 21 uh, in, when you go with the link. Uh, um, it's it's not uh, it's not it's not showing underneath. So where do I see the the video? If I see one video. Let's go to a video. How okay. does this look like? Cool! That looks great. I like that. It, it took... When did we do the, 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 the live stream, Darren? On Saturday. So it took one and a half days till they check everything. So it will... I have uh, 21 different uh, 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 shirts and stuff they're coming in soon and if I get more more ideas for, for funny t-shirts and everything I will upload them as well, don't worry um, Tesla supercharger 250 kilowatt DC lowest price per kilowatt opening to all capable BV soon who the Tesla fanboy? <laughs> no, I get it um, it, it is cheap But not in Germany. I charged the Model Y, the Supercharger version 3, for 40, 40 cent per kilowatt hour. On Ionity, as an ID3 owner, I pay 30 cent. So it's cheaper. But it's also true soon, very soon, in December, so in two months, I have to pay 10, month, 10 euros a month to have that price. So, yeah, no, you're right, it's fine. Um, looking at Cupra Born next, maybe, yeah, it's a nice car. For me, the steering is a bit too hard, coming from Nissan Leaf here. Nissan Leaf was soft, the steering. Then you don't want to drive a Tesla Model Y. That's 10 times harder to steer. For me, the uh, Eric, we get that you're a Tesla fan. <laughs> yeah, people know this. But it's okay, you can be a fan. I did test drive the ID3 when I had the E-Golf ID3, had the best suspension I ever drove, but it didn't... I didn't like the cheap feeling. What do you find cheap about it? I, I never found my ID3 cheap just because it's plastic. Yeah, so it's plastic. Well, oh, okay. As long as the seats are comfortable and the buttons I press feel okay. But everybody has a, a different opinion. Um, I haven't say ID3 with 18 kilowatt is nice, but I didn't drive much with 19, so don't know the difference. Now put your hand up to say which orders are yours. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but also Chris Rivers hoodie. Cool. We did not know Chris was 60. I am 60. Just got to, spre uh, to spread the word. I talk to Germans every day that they don't know Tesla can go 500 kilometers plus and hit speeds of 262 kilometers or 2.5. <laughs> well, but there's all different cars. And 500 kilometers plus, yes, if you drive 80 or 90. Yeah, oh, you're a big fan, huh? <laughs> 55 and 25,000 kilometers per year in Sweden. A month or a year? 60, that's a joke, right? Who says that I'm 60? I'm not 60. My renewal come in at 408 euros. We'll shop around. Sorry, 100 miles per hour brain, but year 60 would have been a Volkswagen joke. Insurance 350 year max 50 in Spain. That's cool. Expected to see house coat in... A house coat in merch. No, sorry, no bathrobe. Hi, Chris and everyone. Hi. Um, Patreon or a lot of shopping? What do you prefer? Not both? <laughs> uh, whatever you want. Patreon, member, shopping, whatever you want. Um, everybody gets a cut. So Patreon gets 20%. Membership, YouTube gets 40%. And for the t-shirt, I get 20%. So it's totally up to you. You do whatever you want to do. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that. Okay, T or tree. Uh, you can always do a short run item put up on website for a month, then take it off. We'll see. My wife is looking at a leaf or sewing in the next three months. Cool. That's cool. Uh, except for batteries, you'll have 13 models for city driving. Cool. 
Ah, so I want to talk to you about uh, Seat Elborn, uh, so Cupra Born and Kia EV6. So um, I asked Seat again when there is a media drive for the Cupra Born, and they and, and a minute later I got an invitation that said it expired in the middle of September. And I was like, okay, so how do I do that? So I emailed back, thank you for the invitation, but it's already full and it's been expired. And then they emailed me back, no, uh, we can put you in. It's in Spain at the end of October. Um, and I saw that the, the, it, the, 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 there uh, are a few or, uh, dates. There was one already in the beginning of October, then in the middle and then in the end. But I was not comfortable with flying in Corona time. So I said, sorry, I'm not going to fly anywhere. Is there anything in Germany? And they said, no. And I, I, I talked about this already with my members and Patreons. That's why you should become a Patreon or member. Because I talk to them about it. They give me input. Sometimes I decide stuff on what they say or change videos. All happened already. Um, um, where was I? Uh... I have owned 10 Volkswagen for each Tesla I've owned. No joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, don't forget to like this video. His man is a superstar. I'm not a superstar. And don't like. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. Bye, Toast. Cool name. Um, so uh, they told me, I'm sorry, there will be any anything happening. And he still won't go. I know I have too many likes. There are too many people here today. I don't know why there are so many people. You don't have anything to do, huh? But it's cool. I, I like it. Um, and they, they said that there won't be any media drive in Germany. So I have to wait for a press car and it will be a while. And so I thought, uh-huh, let's contact a few car dealers. So I contacted a few Seat dealers. One very close where I got the ID4 GTX for a morning. And ask them if I can have the Seat Elborn if it comes out. And it should come out in the mid of November. Seat Born, the Cupra Born. Um, if I can do a, a range test with it. And I got two OKs. One in Regensburg or Straubing. I can't remember. Uh, I have it in email. And one, like I said, very close to me. So I hope... Uh, I saw the Cooper Spain Vids, the 70 kilowatt hour has new software with percent aside from range number is, is in GOM. Cool! That's cool! Just the color I ordered. <laughs> um, that's so cool. My insurance was 342 euros even after cycling gate. Cool! That's okay. Elborn should not be much different from ID4 GTX. Yes, ID4 is just bigger and Elborn is not all wheel drive. Uh, Cupra Born is still rear wheel drive, uh, 150 kilowatt, but has that boost function. This is, is it already on the, on the thing, on, on YouTube? So that's mean. Oh no, you, you saw the um, uh, Cupra Born. Yes, of course. Yeah, they, they were invited to Spain and I said, no, I don't want to go to Spain. And I can see it. There are already videos out right now about the Cooper Born. I will go in the end of, of uh, October, so in two weeks, and then it's old news. What I want to do is something new. I want to do the range test, and that's why I asked about that. The other thing was the Kia EV6. I was not invited to the media drive for the EV6. Kia doesn't like me because I'm a German in Germany talking English. They don't like that. They don't appreciate that at all. Um, they told me that a few times. I mean it. And kiss your lawnmower. It was fab. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's like uh, it's nice that you like that. Um, and so I did the same thing. I, I asked. I think 10 different car dealers, Munich, Regensburg, Nuremberg, about if I can drive an EV6, if they get it and do a range test. And uh, 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 two contacted me and said, I can have it when they receive it. They should email me this week or next email, call me. And then as soon as they get it, I know that some dealers are already getting their EV6. So not everyone is getting an EV6 early, but I'm trying. I'm trying to get it early and trying to do my range test the same as I did with Dionic 5. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> That's good. Well, guys, back to Tesla Twitter for me. <laughs> At least he's honest. And that's okay. Go be a fan. Have a nice evening, everyone. Bye. Bye, EV Solar. I'm going to. It's enough. So I hope to be presenting you Cooper Born and Kia EV6 earlier and doing range tests with it and stuff. We'll see. Nembersch. <laughs> It's Nuremberg. Kia V6 is Brava Ionic 5. Yes, it is. It should be a bit more of a sporty ride, so I'm a bit scared that I won't like it. We'll see. Yeah, yeah Norway is expensive. Uh, that sounds like it. Okay, I think I will be going. We did this for almost one and a half hours. Thank you all for being here. As always, think of become a member, get merch. Become a Patreon, subscribe, what else? That's it. <laughs> it's too much anyways. You'll be cool. There's new merch coming uh, all the time, so I'm trying to get more logos and stuff and funny things. And well, all, every time I'll upload and select something, it takes one and a half days till it's on YouTube. But the link in the description always shows the newest stuff. Okay, you all take care. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye. Great intro. Bye.